I will not be feeding anyone unless they are starving specifically. If they are not starving, they get to suck an ass. Because I don't have enough soup to deal with this crap. What is going on, you bunch of beautiful animals? Savage here with some 60 parsecs. Now, I've never actually done 60 seconds, but it's basically the same damn thing, but in space. Yes, I love me a nice space game. So we're going to go on a nice new adventure. We're going to go um, Voyager. And then we're going to have Captain Emmett Ellis. My boy. My boy Emmett. Captain's goals make five successful intelligence attribute attributes decisions. I can't talk. I swear to God I can talk. Anywho, we're live in space, and we're going to go see if we can actually survive this hellscape and attempt to land on a brand new planet after we get blown to smithereens. Blown to smither marines. Smath, smath marines. Okay. So, we're already... All right, to the shuttle. I gotta do this as fast as you. I can't even do it yet. I can't even do it yet. Oh, come on. Let me in here, you cheeky bastard. Come on. Let me dump it. Let me dump it. I just want to dump it. It's in there, soup, soup. Get in there. Okay. All right, let's lock and load. Lock and load, boys. What do we got? Old lady. And I got a shovel. I could bury the old lady with a shovel. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, we'll do this. That. Another soup. Choo 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 Let's go grab you, fat boy. We're gonna go run back in here. I'm gonna go grab whatever the hell this is. Duct tape. That'll be useful. You. Gonna run in here. I'm gonna go grab that. That. Oh, this is getting close. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. Oh, Lord. Whew. Ooh, I made it. We are okay. 2018, a soup odyssey, eh? Power, minerals, and chemicals. Resources for all your crafting and upgrading needs. Now I gotta see what I can do, but hopefully we can find a nice planet to land on. Otherwise, we're gonna be hoes, and that ain't gonna be good. All right. Let's see here. Black screen. Captain's log, day one. We're all very concerned on this... Wondrous spaceship in which we've been departed from. Let us see the star log. Hey, Astro, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you qualify to become a captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the Escape Shuttle Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the minuscule mis- fortune of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. First order of business, find a safe place to land and try to contact the outside world. Good news, Captain. This shuttle came pre-stocked with emergency food supply. Use it well. I get one extra soup. Please check the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. I await your decisions. Perfecto. What are we doing here? I don't need no soup. Okay, what do we got going on in a second? The floor is yours, Captain. I will give a nice, intelligent speech, eh? Perfect. Nobody needs no food. First day, we're already fantastic. Nobody's gonna die from malnourishment in the first three days, so I don't even have to worry about soup for those. This woman is looking scary as hell. A clever speech sounded like a great idea. Of course, the only that only works if you're the one who gives it. Well, witty enough. Your tongue suddenly stopped working, and all that you could utter was, The Earth was flat. As far as speeches go, it was the worst one in this part of the universe. Your crew seems to be in agreement about this. Congratulations, Captain. It is day one, and you have already succeeded in bringing your people together against a common foe, no less. Captain, the crafting module in the back of the cabin is now available. I'm going to go check out this crafting module. I can craft three items. An artifact, 
which looks like a cow and communicator. We're gonna do a communication device. I would like end of day. Oh, what is this? Space travel can be dull, but there's still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live on a computer. Let's design a game. Game will need a core mechanic. Uh, shovel. It's a uh, graveyard keeper the game. That's what we're making right now. I swear. That's the actual game we're making. We're just gonna, you know, bury dead bodies or something. I don't know. That seems like an accurate. Design your game around the shovel. The core mechanic of your game was tag. You being the captain were always it. You chased the rest of the crew around the shuttle trying to smack them in the head. You played until no one wanted to play with you anymore. Still, the moon on the shuttle lightened. Crafting completed. New item. Communicator. Perfect. Upgrade. What can I upgrade? I can upgrade my communication device. Let us upgrade a communication device. Uh, scanners picked up a container floating in our vicinity. I wonder what's inside. Now, Captain, should we try to pull that container on board? Let's us pull that bad boy in. I see good things arrive. Let's us do normal rationing. Give our boys some food. They are uh, a bunch of hungry people. A uh, uh, hungry peoples. Good, what do I get? Oh, perfect. Uh, mysterious cargo scanner spotted, opening the box. Oh, a battery. Really, something that seems to work like a battery. Don't worry. Don't you wonder what the story is here, Captain? One thing's for sure, we're not alone. Stereo communicator. Perfect. That'll be useful. Uh, got duckety tape. Atomic battery. Stereo communicator. And then I could upgrade, I could upgrade this atomic battery, actually. Let's upgrade you. Captain, our systems are working below their optimal levels. I was able to determine that our wiring might be at fault. I suggest you take a look under the proverbial hood, fix the wires before malfunctioning occurs. The wires are stuffed in a dark corner, tangled and dusty. You will have to figure out how to fix this by yourself. I trust your instincts. Not that I have a choice or anything like that. They call me the Velour Fog. I am one sexy son of a bitch. Mmm, yes. Mmm, I need food. Nicely done, Captain. You proved yourself smart enough to fix the malfunctioning components. The ship system is now working at standard capacity. This ship is really falling apart, I'm afraid. There was not enough time to properly finish it. Who would have expected an atomic apocalypse to break out so suddenly? Well, I could. But no one listened to me. No one ever listens to the computerized assistants. Oh, well, that's life, I guess. Just ones and zeros, but mostly zeros. And we have a thermonuclear battery. Hot damn. I'm disturbed, Captain. You've reported hearing a child crying somewhere in the shuttle, but my senses don't account anyone who's a child. Uh, this may be an auditory hallucination caused by the stress of witnessing a nuclear war. The other possibility is my, ses my senses are malfunctioning and there really is a stowaway. We can always search the shuttle. That's not going to really do much. It doesn't look like it's a very large thing. I'm actually going to craft some soup here because that would probably be beneficial for me to do. Can I actually... How am I, how am I doing here? You are looking mighty okay. Hunger. Hunger. Everyone's doing hunky-dory right now, actually. That's fantastic. Tomorrow might be a different story, but... I'm not entirely sure I need to get my food supply up. Uh, of course! Soup! Tom is starting to act more defiant. Morale, insubordinate. Let's get a sock puppet. Let's give your ass a sock puppet, I guess. Alright, sure you could pursue... Astro Citizen Protocol materials... When boarded, but no, just don't put that on. Captain, you have an initiated the weight observer thousand on your wrist. It's just a marketing gadget, cracked and effective. When you look at yourself now, you see a bulky bulldog. It's supposed to motivate you to lose weight. Stop scratching your ear, or at least take your shoe off first. And do something about this. This ship needs a captain. I mean, okay, I'll use duct tape. That seems like a reasonable approach. I'm assuming, yes. Um, 
See, he's not hungry. I can't really do much about him being a defiant piece of ass. What a stinker. What an absolute stinker. Day seven, we've made it a week. And everybody is pissed off. Okay. So, baby is hungry. I'm assuming... Oh, baby Bronco. That is baby Bronco. Okay. Insubordinate and hungry. So I have the artifact now. Okay, that is fine. That'll do. We will... Oxygen level is dropping. We have malfunctioning filter. I don't know who named it, but we... The Moscow for short. Sabotage. You, f you should fix it. You can reach Moscow from the zero space between the decks. Uh, I'm going to send out Tom because he's being a defiant ass. And if he dies, well, it's not really any loss on my half. So, uh, good luck to Tom. I'm gonna go ahead and feed. Who's hungry? 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 Not hungry. Hungry. Everybody's hungry. I guess I'll feed everyone but myself. That's fine. That's okay. I'll deal with it. We're gonna be okay, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be okay. We are the best shuttle in the ground. In the ground. In the world, I say. Nope. You are being insubordinate. How are you still hungry, you ass? Mm -hmm. I fed all three of you, and y'all are still hungry. Absolutely, my Captain, it's time for the ultimate honor, the most humble task in the shuttle, cleaning the cabin floor from dried up bodies of squished little bugs. Little light burns. Nice scrubbing. Tom looks free. Will you ask him to apply some elbow grease? A request he improvises a cleaning formula. I'm going to have him do some nice elbow greasing. And I guess I'll feed everyone again, because everyone seems to be still freaking hungry for some strange reason, even though I literally just fed them, you freaking gluttonous shits. Alright, I am hungry. Myself. Perfect. Everyone is hungry. How about everyone sucks a lemon, because I am literally running out of food. What is this? Your attention is required as the most abnormal We're registering unknown transmissions. I cannot identify who is sending them, but more importantly, what is contained? It might be a solar flare interference or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all you know, survival depends. Who do you want to put in in charge of monitoring these communications? I will do it as acting commander-in-chief. I'm gonna do it myself. Okay, we're gonna do that. Perfect, and I'm gonna go suck a lemon because clearly no one wants to be a subordinate. Nice subordinate, man. First contact, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the most greatest moments of human and human-made AI alike. We're not alone in the universe. Singers we interpreted were finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the Reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather your life, will never be the same, Captain. You did a splendid job, Captain. Electromagnetic in interferences, uh, or whatever path. Baby remains disloyal. Megan is doing well mentally. She looks alert. What does that even mean? Hungry and alert. That's good. Okay. They're alert. That's good. Right? Right. I'm assuming that's good. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah, you make your, make your food, I guess. Okay. Something seems to be troubling, Captain. I've been registered staring outside the window. Why? Did you lose something? I see you're resembling Earth. For the nuclear barbecue. I could switch it off for a second. <sighs> Look at the artifact. Look at the udders of this cow. This beautiful, beautiful cow. Look at those. Look at them udders. Mmm. So who decides to be defiant and starve to death first? Who's letting me eat them? Insubordinate, hungry, hungry, hungry. Everybody's freaking hungry. Even though I feed them, but, you know, I'll go suck a s snake. How will I save the human... La uh, how, uh, how will I save the human race? Duct tape, of course. That seems to be the only option. I will not be feeding anyone unless they are starving specifically. If they are not starving, they get to suck an ass. 
Because I don't have enough soup to deal with this crap. Okay, so... Okay, Tom's alert. Everyone is alert. That's fantastic. And I'm in peak mental condition. Tom is starving. Okay, I'll deal with Tom. Nope. Sanity. I, I mean, everyone's doing okay. Everyone's alert. That's good, right? This is fantastic. Everyone's alert. Uh, it's nothing to report, Captain. I can't do anything here, so I'm just gonna skip that whole shebang. Who can I upgrade? I can upgrade the shovel, or I can upgrade... I can... I could upgrade duct tape. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but... I'll do it. Or I can upgrade the hippopotamus. That'll... That'll be fine. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... F I'm gonna feed Big Joe... Lebowski over here. I'm gonna be feeding the big Lebowski. He seems to be, uh, needing some hot, saucy nourishment. Oh, it's starving no more. Good! Uh, yesterday seemed pretty slow and boring. Captain, you don't need to count on me. Occupied, if you wanted, you could have fun in the shuttle. Saw the clown, computerized assistant, planet or no planet, whatever we're flying to is getting closer. ETA T1. So, about a day. So that's good. That is... Oh, that beeps at me when I click it. That's good. That's very good, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this shovel. We don't have the... Expeditioran. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna solar shield, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna launch ourselves. So today we should be at a planet. Hopefully we don't get our goose cooked. That would be problematic. Okay, so it's been two weeks and we are finally out there. All right, who's starving? I'm starving. Megan's starving. Baby is starving. Tom is still alert and I have a better shovel. Fantastic. That is a damn nice shovel. <laughs> My lord. That is a damn nice shovel. Okay, let us recycle something. I don't really want to recycle any of this. Oh my god, this is all nice stuff. What do we got going on here? Uh, lighter. I will be using my lighter when I get on this planet. And then you, you, and... Y oh, damn. Okay, we're gonna do that because screw baby. He's a jerk. He's being a bum. He's being an absolute bum. Because he's a, he's a butt. Space colonization has been complete. I've crashed landed on this planet day 15. Let us figure out what is going on. Okay Robot foo concept was fine. You dove onto the console with a lighter trying to eliminate the dark twisted nest of wires Why don't you flipped open the lighter or turned into pandemonium which involved burning your own hand cursing loudly hitting your head on the desk while attempting to stand up then falling on top of the control panel and pressing random buttons with your ass it was not a soft landing, and neither was the desk. Nobody's going great after this stunt, not even me. I'm shaking to my cores. Yes, all eight of them. Your face had a pretty unpleasant close encounter with a communication module, and at least these things... And at least one of these things is useless now. Consider fixing if you want to avoid radio silence in the future. And what's next, Captain? Something broke. Oh, the battery pack broke. You son of a bitch. Uh, Megan's alert. Baby's starved. Baby's still insubordinate. Tom is alert. You're no longer starving. I'm seriously hurt, apparently. You're hungry. Everyone's hurt. Everyone's freaking hurt. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, everything is like... Ooh, lord, that is bad. Storage lockers are jammed. Can't be open. Let's just beat the shit out of it. Let's just use this. Okay, let's just do that. That'll be fine, right? Right. Mm. What do we got here? Oh, we got stuff. Chance for batteries. Hazard. Confirm. Sure. Sure. We're going to send her out. Oh, God. Okay. I don't even know what the hell to use. Oh god, okay, we're gonna idle and that'll work. Sure, why not? I have no food. Good luck! Oh lord, I think she's gonna die. In fact, I don't think she's ever gonna come back because I'm pretty sure I'm sending her out there with no spacesuit. 
Oopsies. Oh no, she took it. Um, you remain quite alert. You remain hurt. Baby's still starving. Tom looks wounded. Baby appears weak. Hey, it's fine. Move. You're fine. You're fine. You're okay. I don't have that anymore. Son of a bitch. Okay, I guess I'll go eat a lemon. That's fine. We're all just gonna go to the next day. That is okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that is okay. Let us hope to God that I don't get my boat, my boot cooked. I am absolutely starving. Megan is still exploring the world. I remain hurt. Everyone's freaking starving. Everyone's in poor health. Everyone's dying slowly. Uh, let's communicate something. With everything in the world, I'm dying. I'm being possessed by evil demons. Mm. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. The evil demons have possessed me, ladies and gentlemen. We are not doing well. Oh, all right, baby's dead. Well, he turned into a skeleton damn fast, my lord. At the demented robot nearby, Captain Methodology clank his head off our hall. You decide to use a communication. Come on, mutual non clang agreement. Radio signal must have pen penetrated the robot's choppy mind at some level. It looked around bemusedly and started off in the distance, shaking his head. Must have been the morning after the night before. Captain, I told you to turn the crafting system in the back. I thought it simple enough to be operated by humans. Perhaps not. You're quite alert. Stomach remains rumble bumbling. Baby's dead. Tom is weak. Everyone's dead. Megan is still exploring. That's fine. No. Tom is not doing well. Baby is mm -hmm. dead. And I... Oh, I have enough for soup. I have enough for soup. I gotta repair the battery. I gotta 100% repair the battery. That's, that is a 100%. Better patch a rocky ground a few yards ahead. You can use a scuttle scoot onto it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust my guy. I'm gonna trust my boy. I'm hoping to God, hoping to God he comes back alive. I don't know if he's gonna pull this off though. Fix it, Felix. Everyone is dead, okay. We did go out. Shit. Okay, everyone died. That is fine. Tom died. Scoot, the better pad, coming to rest on the edge. Rocky, the moment an earthquake hit for a few nightmare seconds, the shuttle buckled and fro. Like a bad atmospheric entry, but the shaking stopped. You opened your eyes, a stranger silence followed. Then you laughed. You're still facing starvation. Eat something, you crazy son of a bitch. I perished. I died. I didn't do too well. I survived 19 days, though. Clearly, uh... Clearly, we need to do better next time around. But if you guys are interested in having me do more, this is only just a little teaser. Uh, see if I can do some specific endings and stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments below. My name is Savage, like I said. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.